think that bugs are dirty, that they're gross. If you have bugs in your house, it means that your house is dirty and you are gross. And that's not true. What do the bug chicks do? Well, we teach about insects and spiders. And, and we do it in a quirky... We do, we're a little weird. We are slightly strange. Do you guys know how walking sticks move? Uh, they walk really slow. They walk really slow. I'm gonna do it for you only once, so pay attention because I look a little dorky. We're not Ready? mainstream science education. I think that there's a place for mainstream science education and we just don't belong in that place. I'm a stick, I'm a stick, I'm a stick. Our tagline is, find your inner bug dork, it wants to come out and play. Ready? And each of us is, all of you are going to be able to hold something. Everyone has sort of one of three reactions. You get the people who are really into bugs, who are bug dorks like us. Like, yeah, bugs, oh, I can't wait to look at them. You get the people who don't really want to interact at all. They, I call them the blanks. They're just kind of like, oh, you know. And then you get the people who are really hateful towards insects. You get the, I don't like them, I squish them, get that away from me, the squealing. And we can work with the people who hate bugs because really it's fear. It's the people who are just sort of on the fence. Opening those minds is often harder than changing the fear to fascination. You just need that one little hook and you get into it. And then once we've got you, then we've got so much other stuff that we can show you. All right, all right. Are we ready? Are we ready? Quick. We have some tarantulas. <gasps> what? That's the sound. Oh, look at that. That is, it's... that's the sound you want, that's the sound you hope for, and that is the sound where you know that you've got them hooked and then you can teach them some facts. We have these best beetles and they make 14 different sounds, but we went to a deaf school. So we got to hold these beetles up to the microphones that we were wearing. And the kids who, with the hearing problems could hear them chirping and, and chittering to themselves. The whole room stopped. It was like the beetles were speaking directly to them. It was really... It was neat. That was special. Yeah. Alright, let's go outside and find bugs, people. Come on. Everything in our lives right now is antibacterial and we don't want germs and we, we worry about basically everything and sometimes it's okay to go into your backyard and dig up some worms and look at some bugs and that is going to open the door for kids to be excited about learning and science. It, it also teaches the respect for the environment, okay. mm -hmm. for other organisms in it because when it comes down to it we all live here. <laughs> and if you love a place you're not gonna mess it up. Exactly. You're gonna, you're gonna respect it, you're not gonna you're not going to litter. What if, what if we learned not to litter by someone instead of saying, don't litter, it's bad. What if we thought, I shouldn't do this because this is where an animal lives. When you guys get scared, what do you do? Say you have a child who is afraid to pet the cockroach, okay? Very afraid, very afraid. And in 15 minutes, just about, kid is petting the cockroach, they're holding the cockroach. They don't want to give you the cockroach back. The cockroach is theirs now. They've renamed it. They're going to bring it home. In that 15 minutes, something happened. The kid has an open mind. The, the child learned something new. The child learned to conquer a fear. And so, so what can you do if you are afraid? You can learn. I don't care if none of these kids grow up to be entomologists but they have to grow up and love to continue to learn. Oh Look at it, it's cool, it's science, man. <laughs> All right, well, we're, we're, I mean, if you, just, if you just roll, we'll just be, you know, we'll just do this all day. So we should probably walk off camera.